be together in the house of the Lord. Amen. And there is a joy for me to be here back in the pulpit to preach the word, to encourage the body. And it's a privilege to see the faithfulness of uh, God's people, you friends, who regularly, mostly, be coming again and again to prepare the worship place and uh, to give the word to serve in one way or another, I will never be tired to be grateful to God and grateful to you. Every presence in the house of the Lord counts. Amen. Amen. It counts before God and it counts before men as well. Praise God. Amen. Um, as an announcement, we, we said last Sunday, our new couple, Pastor Evangel and Deborah, are still uh, waiting to get the visa to come from um, Deborah. And we trust God that He will give us a favor that soon they come and they will really love to keep this uh, weekend of 28th of this month, Saturday, to have. A function, a celebration of their wedding, which is God willing, uh, will take place in the venue Chila Village Hall, Village Hall Parish Hall, something like that. You see, we have address that well. So we want really to encourage everyone in the body to set aside that weekend, uh, although we no, don't have yet concrete. Uh, <coughs> fact that they have received the visa, but we are announcing this by faith, even at the demand, at the request. Let us uh, accompany them on the journey of faith. They said that even our going to Belgium for their wedding, it was an act of faith. We had met many stumbling barriers, barrier, but God made a way for us. Amen. So please, it will be a great joy, a great joy to see everyone in the assembly, everyone in this fellowship, to come and celebrate together with Evangel and his bride. 28th Saturday, it will be a banquet, a banquet, it will be a banquet, how it? Banquet holiday. holiday weekend. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, you will have further clarity as the time unfolds. By the grace of God, we have come here in this place again for shopping. Shopping. Last Sunday we had a message, let's go shopping. Hello, Dante. Nice to see you. House of the Lord with our little ones, and uh, we have many, many memories of a great joy. We did say, by the way, that uh, the concept of going to, to the house of the Lord for shopping is not, it's not, it's not a familiar, it's not usual that we. We, we understand going to blue waters or <laughs> green water. I went to blue water, but they were green actually. It was not blue. They were going to buy some, some dress for going to Vanjie's party. So I tried to look at where is the blue water. The water was green. It's like a big, big, <laughs> shopping center, big, big one. We go for places, design out for shopping, but it's not familiar to go to the house of the Lord for shopping. However, I got the boldness to write this title because uh, in Revelation 2.18, God says, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined uh, uh, through fire and to buy from me cloth so that, I mean, God said, buy from me gold so that you will become rich. Buy from me cloth so that you will have to cover your shameful nakedness. Buy from 
for me the medicine of eyes so that you can see. Those I love, I rebuke, and uh, I discipline and rebuke. Be earnest and repent. So that notion of uh, us buying from God, well, if God said, come and buy from me, well, I felt boldness to say, we have come to buy from God. I hope nobody will stone you in your pastor. Your pastor is safe here. Amen. 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 And it has given me joy to hear whispering, I love when I see and repenting to our beloved sisters in the local languages. It gives me joy. I, 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 I feel that everyone is listening. It, it's really, really great joy. Everyone is listening to the word. So, today, we are going to buy understanding. Well, we did establish, by the way, in the Bible, there are blessings which we cannot buy, of course. There are things which we, nobody can buy salvation. Salvation, Jesus has paid the price for you. God paid the price. Actually, God paid the price, and Jesus, because God gave his son, and Jesus gave his blood and his body, so it's free. We sit here free. Hallelujah! Amen. Praise God! At least we have, no? A free, the free gift of salvation. And there are blessings that cannot be given freely. We must accept the price, as the Bible points to this. That's what I'm trying to, uh, to study today. So, among those blessings which cannot be given freely, for which we must accept the price, today, God is offering us Understanding. Let's say all together. Understanding. Understanding. It louder. Understanding. Louder. Understanding. Hallelujah. I found in the Bible. About understanding. Very, very. I invite you to Jeremiah 9 23 to 24. Jeremiah 9 23 to 24. This is what the Lord says Let not the wise boast of the wisdom. Or the strong boast of their strength, or the rich boast of their riches. But let the one who boast boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord who exercise kindness, justice, righteousness on earth, for in these I delight, declare the Lord. Amen. It's quite a statement. God said, yeah, I know people, it's really, you can boast, you, you feel proud of your science, you feel proud of your knowledge, you may feel proud of your wisdom, you may feel proud of your muscles, your strength, your army, your fame, your influence, you can be proud of your connections. Rich, uh, you will be proud of uh, riches, wealth, economy, but the Bible said all this really you shouldn't be. I don't, I don't encourage you to be proud of these things which will pass away. That's what God is saying. But if you want to be proud, be proud of this only one that you understand me. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, according to Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7, 
understanding is very, very expensive. It's very, very expensive. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7, the last, the last part of the 7, it says, Though it costs all you have, get understanding. It may cost you all you have, still go for it. In the New Testament, in Luke chapter 14, verse 33, Luke 14, Luke 14, 33, there is a similar concept now in the New Testament of Jesus speaking. So likewise, whoever of you does not forsake all that he has cannot be my disciple. Jesus said, unless you are ready to forsake all you have, you cannot be my disciple. Last Sunday, I said to you, friends, salvation is free, but to be a student of Jesus, it costs. Hello? It costs. Receive the word of God and 
and does not understand it, it becomes like the seed on the path. The birds, the devil, come and pick it up. So it means you can come into the house of the Lord, you, you hear the word of God, you don't understand, but you, you heard, but the word, the devil, is against that which you may understand from me. He roams around so that he snatches it from your mind and you go home empty. You came to the fountain, you came to bar, you came to see, and you go home empty. God forbid. Amen? Amen. God forbid that you go home, we go home empty. The, the sin which fell on the rocky place, Jesus said, is the one who hears the word of God, we see it with joy. But because there is no root, when there is trouble, 